ピーポーピーポーピーポーピーポーキャパーサーサーパーセーワーデードウェルコムトクライムタイムニュースウェアディディフェンスイスインデメッツファーストインダーティスパーピンインデニュースイフジャメイカンスアーナッツデドンシス Stubbornness, foolish is set a people upon planet Earth. Me no w a n live upon Earth anymore. Now, people, I am speaking about an incident, an A C C I D E N T that occurred early this morning upon the Palisades Highway. That is the highway that leads to the airport from the airport. You know that road is very smooth, that road is very big and wide. However, whenever people get a chance to press pedal to the metal, that is what they do. On most of the road, you could clearly see what is coming on the opposite side. However, where it starts to meander, bend, corner, There are some blind spots. I do not know why, for the life of me, these persons always decide that they want to overtake on the blind corner, not seeing what is coming. However, they are playing by fate, they are playing by gamble. However, a lot of times that gamble d o n t pen out, and when it d o n t Purses lose their life. I am going to show you two vehicles that were involved in this A C C I D E N T. The first vehicle, picture on your screen, that is a Pro Box motor vehicle. Look on the picture, you see the red plate, that means、uh, a taxi. I'm going to talk about that in a few. The next vehicle that you see on your screen right now. You know that that is one of those high up vehicles that were used o r still used by some of your politicians. A lot of big wigs like to drive this vehicle because they call it a gas guzzler. And if you can afford to finance gas in that vehicle, that means that you must be okay. So, therefore, you either have the people and money that is pretty much paying your expense. However, when you look at both vehicles, let's go back to the taxi. You notice the taxi is separated in a couple of parts. It looks like some BOMB drop in at the taxi. It looks like some sort of EXPLOSION. However, that is from the impact of both vehicles colliding. There were four persons in that p r o b o x based on the information that I am getting. It is said that all four occupants of that vehicle exist no more. As it pertains to the Prado, people may not really know, more than likely, that impact is going to make that person shaken up, broken this, broken that. That is yet to be determined. Moral of the story. Every day people talk about it. It's not the news. It ain't on social media. However, the same set of fools, and well, not the same set of fools, because pretty much those gone, then the next, some, next one them come and them gone to. Them not learn. And like I said, people before, a wise man learns from his mistake. A wiser man learns from the mistakes of others. Why in the H E L L? Is two v e h i c l e going separate direction, end up a l i c k up in a each other in a early morning when there's no sorts of traffic, take on a time and people what is consistent in all of these A C C I D E N T is always a taxi man or a minibus man. So, what I tell you, sir, these are the same people, the taxi man, where I cry. And I talk about them want a next chance to pay them hundreds or thousands or tens of tens of tickets. However, these are the maniacs, these are the menace 
to society, not all of them speaking in general. Point blank and period. People, 400 and something people already gone and the year not done yet, even though it's soon done. But people, at the rate it is going and the fact that this is the festive season and the fact that persons are going to be consuming a whole bunch of J. Ray and Nevio mix up with the stupidity, selfishness and stubbornness and foolfulness in of these people. Hope for the best, however, expect the worst. Point blank and period. Now people, I did not want to be the bearer of bad news. However, I told you so that this festive season is going to be the worst that we've ever seen. And people, so said, so done. Now the poor poor they are investigating whether there is some sort of robbery crew that is going around the whole of Jamaica and them are robbed down the place gas station, supermarket, bar, you name it, them are take it. However, the latest spate is in a place called Manchester. In a place called Cross Key, them rob a coal oasis. In a Christiana, them rob a next gas station. Fast forward, Friday, porous Manchester once again. A supermarket owned by a man named Jin Ye. We are speaking about an infrastructure man. An ex person, Alfonso, he was also taken out. This is the owner's picture, and this is the next man that allegedly lost his life or their lives. None of these persons are involved in any sorts of gang activity. It is said that the, the suspects that were held were all choppers turned robbery suspects. They upon a ram, robbery spree all over Manchester, all over the island. Now since that robbery on Friday, a couple of videos have been circulating. There is one video in which they went in the supermarket and them take a phone Take with jewelry, take with cash. This arm, um, everybody, everybody get flat. However, there's a next video when they left inside the supermarket. And that is where the thing get serious. It turn up. The video that is in the supermarket is about 30 seconds long. So therefore, they did not spend too much time in the supermarket. We spot the money, we spot the cell phone, we spot the people them there. However, these J-A-C-K-A-S-S-E-S, -S -S -S, when they came out of the supermarket, that is when the rampage starts. There's a video that is black and white and people, me don't know if them people are thinking so they are J-B-C. However, in a place like Jamaica, with so much crime and violence, why would you have a black and white camera in these ages where it is cheap? Check Amazon. I am sure that you could get very clear cameras for a decent price. Invest in your safety and security, Majosa say. Now, people, when these four-fold boy come out of the people in place, they were out there Blazing up all sorts of A to the K, all sorts of 9mm, after any and everybody, mostly innocent people. Me don't know if them boy uh, did a smoke some sorts of spliff with lizard tail or sip on some sorts of mad P-U-S-S-P-I-S-S or lace a ball of cocoa. People, me don't know where I got through them mind. However, them blaze up the place and of course, when it was all said and done, the smoke clear. Five people, two people like I told you, lost their life. Other three persons were taken to the hospital, nursing their injuries. Two minutes and something. These idiots left and then them drive and got intercepted 
in Williamsfield by the Popo. When the Popo intercepted them at Williamsfield, they found the AK upon the seat, 29mm or 2 handgun upon the seat, ballistics vest. So people, what this tells you, had they just robbed the people them, don't take with the people them life. And like me say, I am going to tell you where the problem comes in, even if you want here or not. If them they just rob the supermarket, take with themselves, don't take with nobody, they would have been okay, live to rob again. Not that I am encouraging the robbery, but me just attack facts to what went down and why it could have been different had they not been so fully done and full full. So people, the popo hold them. The popo got information that yes, this Mark X that hit up a gas station in a Christiana earlier, come back again at the supermarket, the people them de in te. How is it that these four men are alive? They must have some sort of strong obliteration or something. God or them family must have prayed for them because these people should have been four DEAD man driving or walking, whatever you want to call it. Now, people, here is where the problem comes in. Whenever you go up on Ennis, this is robbery 101. And the difference with full criminal versus smooth criminal. Again, my disclaimer. Not trying to promote or highlight any sorts of criminal, none at all. Because we are anti-crime, anti-criminal. But me just as say, had they just do what they came to do and don't entangle in a the F-U-C-K-A-R-Y, maybe they would have gotten away Luckily for Jamaica, they are foolish. However, we see say, five innocent people end up getting caught anyway. So therefore, what started bad ended up better. I'm mean, going to say it ended up good. However, the popo take them off of the place. Now, the popo are surmising that these are the same people that have been all over St. Catherine, Spanish Town, Portmore, St. Elizabeth. So people, moral of the story, every day the bucket goes to the well, one day the bottom is going to drop out. So me just as say, karma or the law of possibility and probability is going to run against you sooner or later. You cannot do that and expect to get away every day. One day you are going to have to pay the piper. It is only sad that they did not, all four persons did not pay the piper with their life. So now, you and I, as tax paying legal citizens of Jamaica, will have to foot the bill for a set of criminals that, knowing our justice system, they can buck this on some sort of technicality, even though I doubt it very much. So, people, me just as say, do the right thing or the wrong thing, I go do no. So let this be a warning to all of you youths out there with aspirations of joining gangs. It only leads to two places. Destination Dome, both of them. The big yard or the graveyard. Do the right thing or the wrong thing, I go do no. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that occurred as it pertains to JLP councillor Jermaine Hyatt. He is from the Denham Town Division, Western Kingston. Based on the information, it is said that Mr. Hyatt and some residents from the neighbourhood was on the corner. They were talking about community business when... Some people roll up on the spot, blaze up some can, offer the councillor and other persons. It is said that one of those can went through the vehicle and hit the seats of the councillor's car where the councillor usually sit whenever he is driving the driver's seat. It is said that the councillor who also had 
close protection people with him, meaning bodyguards, because he has been getting all sorts of threats from people in the community. And when I say people, one specific individual who is a suspect, that individual's government name is Romario Brown, O-C-A-K-A, Beanie Man. Not Beanie Man, the dancer legend, Beanie Man, the criminal. So the poor poor said, listen, Mr. Beanie Man, please give in yourself. Don't make we have to come look for you. When them run a background from Beanie Man, Romario Brown, he is a violence producer in the era. Based on what the poor poor said, this man has been on our radar for a couple of years. You know, say, we we'll lock him up a couple of times, but he is still out. However, we want to talk to him this time. Now, people, herein lies the problem with Jamaica. The criminal justice system is like a revolving door. One day them in, one day them out. Most of the times they are out. No matter what them do, the people them know say, listen, a this man and him crew a create all sorts of things. Because based on what the poor poor say, he is a member of a known gang. He is a violence producer. He is a gangster. He is a known bad man. However, every time we catch him, we have to let him back go. Either the people them don't show up or the people them in the community a ball and I say him an innocent boy. Moral of the story is this. Poor poor, if you keep locking up one man, him keep about the system. You will have to put a stop to it or else it is going to continue. So therefore, you can decide if you want to play this cat and mouse game with Mr. Beanie Man or you want to make the rat trap snap on him neck one time and done. That is up to you. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of viper that see your potential, realize that your ceiling is in, is in the stratosphere. However, when they look at themselves because of their insecurity, because of their hate, because they realize that persons appreciate them for who they pretend to be, which is not who they actually are. For them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything in their means to bring you down, point blank and period.